Many types of sheet metal parts created with the lofted flange result in ruled surfaces. These types are generally manufactured with rolling operations and until now, some types have not been flattenable. Enhancements to flattening in both traditional and synchronous modeling can now give a correct flat pattern for parts with ruled surfaces. In this first example, using traditional modeling in solid edge, we'll create a flat pattern using a loft from an arc to a line. The resulting feature represents a part that would most likely be created with a roll formed operation. Once the lofted flange is created, we can then flatten it. The process here follows the same for any sheet metal part created in solid edge. Let's see another case by creating a lofted flange developed with lines that are skew. The results represent a twist in the metal. Once the part has been created, we will create the flat pattern. The outline around the flat pattern represents the actual blank size and should it exceed a predefined sheet size, Solid Edge will post a warning. Finally, let's take a look at flattening a square to round transition. Historically, these flanges required complex modeling where each element had to follow a specific set of rules. With our new flatten capabilities, we can now add overlap for spot welding. A correct flat pattern can then be made. Note that these flatten capabilities are not intended for parts with double curved faces that would typically be manufactured by stamping operations. With this new flatten capability, you can now develop accurate models of more types of parts.